Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to another crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how I made this crochet winter beanie. It is such a cute crochet hat. I love how it came out. It has ear flaps to keep your ears warm. It has pom-pom details on the top and the bottom. And it also has like this knit look, which I really, really love. And the pattern is pretty easy and simple. I got it done in just a few hours. So make a beautiful last minute gift for Christmas or for a birthday. I'm curious to know, are you guys making this for yourself? Are you guys making this for a gift for your friends or family? Let me know in the comments below. And really quickly before we get started, I also wrote a written pattern for this crochet hat. I know a lot of people prefer to use written patterns. So if that's you, I left a link in the description and you guys can go buy that on my website. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And now enough talk, let's get started with the tutorial. So for this project, I'm going to be using this thick and quick wool ease yarn by Lion Brand Yarns and it's a number six super bulky um, and it's in the color Fisherman. So I'm going to be using two of these skeins. I'm also going to be using an 8 millimeter hook, some scissors, measuring tape, a yarn needle, and lastly I like to use a couple of paper clips just as markers. So to begin I always start by tying a double knot around my hook. You can start off with a slip knot or however you like to start off. This is how I start off. So it gives me a loop. So using my 8mm hook, I'm going to start off with my foundation row of 16 chains. So I'm going to chain 16. So once I've crocheted 16 chains, we're going to start on our second row. So to start our second row, we're going to count back 2 chains. And then on that second chain, we're going to single crochet. And if you're a beginner, to single crochet is really easy. You just insert your hook into the next stitch. You yarn over and just bring that yarn through that stitch. Now you have two loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over again and bring that yarn through both loops. So we're just going to continue to single crochet in each one of these foundation chains. So that completes our very first row and it came out to 15 single crochets in that row. So for the next row, for row number two, we're going to start off by crocheting one chain and this chain is not going to count as a stitch. And then we're going to flip over, so like turn our work and then for this row we're going to single crochet using the back loops only and that's for a ribbing effect that we want. So, what I mean by that is if you can see it, hopefully you guys can see it, there's two loops here. Normally we single crochet into both of them, but this time we're just going to single crochet into the back loop. So just insert your hook into this back loop, yarn over, you've got two loops, yarn over again, bring it through both loops. So we're going to continue to single crochet only using the back loops throughout this whole row and that's going to give us 15 single crochets as well. So here's my very last single crochet in this row. So just to make sure you should Count your second row, make sure that you have 15, so it should be the same amount as the first row. Now our third row is going to be a little bit different. We're going to continue to single crochet in the back loops, but for our third row we're actually going to increase by one. So I'm going to start off just with one chain, and then I'm going to turn my work, and then in this first stitch where we would normally just do one single crochet in the back loops, we're going to do two. So I'm going to single crochet 
twice into that first stitch right there and that's going to be an increase for the ear flaps so we're going to start to increase and this is where we start so for the rest of this row it's just normal we're going to continue to single crochet into every stitch the only thing that was different about it was increasing in the beginning all right so for the next row for row number four we're going to chain one like we normally do to start a new row and we're going to single crochet into every single stitch until we get um, over here to the bottom again this is going to be like where an ear flap starts to form so for example I have one that's completed over here so I, got, I want to show you guys what I mean by that so we just started these kind of rows and now we're increasing for our ear flap here this is going to cover our ears so that's what we're doing right now so that you guys can have a better picture of what you're working on so like I was saying for row number four we're going to single crochet in the back loops only until we get down here to the bottom where we did our increase from the previous row and we're also going to increase in this row as well so we're going to continue increasing by one single okay. so we're going to continue to so we're going to continue <clears throat> so we're going to continue to single bleh. so we're going to continue to increase by one in each row all the way through row nine so I'm going to show you guys one more row just so that you can see um, how to increase towards the bottom so just like I said single crochet in every stitch Okay, here I am at my very last stitch in row number four, and this is where I'm going to increase. So instead of just calling it right here and just doing one single crochet, I'm going to do two single crochets in that very last stitch. So you can see how it's starting to increase here. So I just showed you two rows of increasing and you're going to continue so that was row four we're going to start row five you're going to continue to increase by one single crochet in every single row until you've completed row nine so i'm going to show you guys what that looks like once i've completed row nine so i just completed row number nine and i continued to increase by one single crochet in each one of those rows that i continued so for row number 10, we're not going to increase. We're going to keep the same amount of single crochets as row number 9. So I ended row number 9 with 22 single crochets. And so row number 10 is also going to be 22 single crochets. So in the same way, just chain 1. So just single crochet in every single stitch. And I will show you guys what to do once I complete this row. So I just completed row 10 of 22 single crochets. I did not increase, I just kept the same amount of single crochets. And now for row number 11, we're gonna start to decrease. So over here we increased for half of the ear flap. Now we're going to decrease for the other half. So for rows 11 through 19, we're going to decrease in each one of those rows. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. So we're just going to start row 11 with, oops, start row 11 with a chain. Turn your work. And then here we're actually going to skip this first stitch. So normally we would single crochet into this very first stitch. This time we're going to just skip it. And we're just going to go on to the next stitch. And that is how we're going to decrease. So just single crochet into every stitch after that. 
So we're literally just skipping that very first stitch and that's how we're decreasing by one stitch. So this row, row 11, is going to have 21 single crochets. So when I get to the end, I'm going to make sure that I count it to make sure that I'm doing it right. So that's 21 stitches in row 11. Now row 12 is going to do the same thing. It's the same concept. We're going to decrease by one stitch, by one single crochet. So I'm just going to chain one, turn it around. So we're just going to single crochet into every stitch and I'll show you guys what to do on this very last stitch to decrease by one single crochet. Right, so here's the very last two stitches in this row. Now to decrease for this row, I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did in the previous row. So I'm going to skip a stitch and I'm just going to single crochet into the next stitch. So for row number 12, there should only be 20 stitches in that row. Now we're going to continue that same exact process of decreasing by one single crochet in every row until you complete row 19. So I'm going to continue that and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like when I complete row 19. So I just completed row 19 right here and I ended up with 13 single crochets. So here's what it looks like. Make sure you count and that you have 13 single crochets in row 19. Now for the next six rows, we're just going to keep a consistent amount of single crochets in every single row. So that's going to be 13. So we're not going to increase, we're not going to decrease, we're just going to keep it consistent. So just chain one, turn your work, and we're just going to single crochet into every stitch using the back loops only for six rows until we've completed row 25. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like once I've completed row 25. Make sure you keep 13 single crochets in each one of those rows. So here I've completed row 25. Here's what it looks like so far. Here's the ear flap. And then over here is actually where our face is going to be. So from here, we've kept six rows consistent. And now we're going to start to increase again to make the other ear flap. So starting with the next row, row 26, all the way through row 34, we're going to increase by one single crochet in every single row. So it's going to work the exact same way as when we were increasing over here. So if you want, you can refer back to that part of the video. I'm not going to film it again because this will end up being a very long video but just know that we're going to increase by one single crochet in every row until we get through row 34. So I'll show you guys what that looks like once I've completed row 34. So I just completed row 34. I had 22 single crochets in that row. It's the same as the height over here. Now I'm going to move on to row 35. And row 35, we're going to keep the same amount of single crochets in that row. And that's 22. So we're going to single crochet 22 times in row 35. And then I'm going to show you guys what to do after that. So I just completed row number 42. There was 15 single crochets in that row. Now for row 43 and 44, we're done decreasing. So we're not going to be decreasing or increasing. We're just going to keep the same amount of single crochets in every, in each of those rows. So we're going to continue with 15 single crochets in both rows 43 and 44. So I'm going to continue that and I'll show you once I complete row 44. So I just completed row 44 and I ended with 15 single crochets. So if you guys remember, that's actually the number that we started with. So everything should be symmetrical. All right, now 
what we're going to do, we're just going to start by single crocheting here, and then we're going to add two tails for two pom-poms here, and then we're going to single crochet all the way through here and do the same on the other side and then through here. And then we're going to connect it. All right, so starting from the 44th row where we left off, we're going to just start to single crochet along the bottom here. I flipped it so that the bottom is here on the top. Okay, so we're going to single crochet once into every single row until we get to row 35. So that's this peak right here. So we're going to start with one chain. Now we're going to just single crochet into every row just to clean it up. So here's row 35 right here. So once you get there, we're just going to single crochet into that row. But then we're going to begin to chain outwards. So I'm going to crochet the length that I want for my pom-pom here with these chains. So I kept crocheting chains until I got the length that I wanted and that was 34 chains. So once you get to 34 or whatever length that you like, then we're going to cut a tail and just leave like maybe about 10 inches, that's going to be more than enough because that's how we're going to attach our pom-pom. So just cut it there and then you can just pull the yarn through and just push down those last two chains so you have a secure knot right there. Alright, so this will be the tail for the first pom-pom. Now for the second pom-pom we're going to take our yarn and I'm going to just tie a double knot around my hook. You can start with a slip knot if you guys prefer that, it's up to you. And I'm going to chain the same amount that I did on this tail. So that was 34 chains. So I'm just going to begin to chain 34. So once you've crocheted 34 chains, we're going to come over here where we left off, where that last single crochet is from the first tail that we have here. And we're going to single crochet into that exact same stitch. So as you could tell, here it is right here. So I'm just going to insert my hook into that exact same stitch, yarn over. We're going to have two loops and then yarn over again and bring it through both of those loops. So we just attached our two tails here and we're going to continue to single crochet all along this edge here. And then we're going to do the same exact thing that we did on this side, on this other side, by adding a tail of 34 chains here, fastening it off, and then chaining 34, and then connecting it here with a single crochet until we get uh, to this edge. So I will show you guys what that looks like once I have completed cleaning up the edge and adding the two tails on the other side. Alright, so I attached the two tails on both sides. I finished cleaning up the edge here and now we're going to connect these two ends over here. So in my opinion, this is the cleanest side. Like this is the side that I would actually wear it facing out. So we're going to keep this on the inside and we're going to fold this over and then we're going to turn this around. So we're going to do a slip stitch all the way across to connect the two sides. But we have to make sure that the stitches are lined up so that when you end, you end on the same stitch on both sides. So I have the first stitches lined up. Here's the second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. So I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch on both sides yarn over and then bring that yarn through the loop here on your hook and then that's that's a slip stitch and then we're going to do the same thing in the next stitch the next stitch and all the way across So 
So here's the very last slip stitch to connect it. And then from here we're going to crochet two chains and then we're going to cut this tail about 40 inches long. And I just want to give us more than enough than we need. So we're just going to cut it right there. And then pull the yarn through. And then we're going to push down this knot, these two chains here, into a secure knot. Right now we're going to take this tail and we're going to thread it with our yarn needle. You don't have to pull it all the way through, just, just the last few inches. Here's where we're going to cinch this all together and make it into a hat. And it's still inside out, right? So we're going to start here on the back. And all we're going to do is just weave it in and out of the stitches. So I'm just putting it in and then bring it to the front, bring it in, to the front, in, and then every so often you can just pull it through and just do the same thing all the way around. To the front, Again, to the front. So here I am back at the very beginning where I started. This is the tail from when I first began and we're going to use it to tie a very secure knot so that this top part does not come undone. So you want to make sure that you pull on this long tail as much as you can to make this hole as small as possible. So. You know, my finger can still fit in there, but it's pretty small. And once we add the pom-pom, you're not going to see it at all. So I'm going to just pull on that and then tie a super, super secure knot. And just tie a knot here. As tight as you can. I'm probably going to do it like three or four times. And this is on the inside, so you're not going to be able to see it. Yeah, so I tied a knot four times here, just to make sure. So that's pretty secure. As you can see, now the hat's starting to take its shape. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to make a pom-pom. So there's a lot of videos here on YouTube that are probably much better than the tutorial that I'm about to give you guys on how to make a pom-pom but they do get a little bit complicated. There's a lot of steps to it. And just for the sake of simplifying this video and not making it an hour long, I'm just gonna show you guys how I make my pom-pom. It's not the most sophisticated way to make one of these, but it does work and you can make a pom-pom of any size. And that's the most important part because we're gonna do two different sizes. So for the biggest one, what you're going to need is like a business card so just a standard two by three and a half inch business card 
So the business card is for the big pom-pom at the top of the head. Now for the smaller pom-poms, that's when we're going to take a business card and cut it in half. So it actually has half the dimensions. So instead of two by three and a half inches, it's gonna be one by three and a half inches. So you could just cut a business card in half when you're done using it, or you can just take a piece of cardboard or whatever you wanna use and just cut it to those dimensions. So for the big pom-pom, I'm just going to take my business card and my yarn and I'm going to leave a tail here because it's kind of hard to keep track of once you wrap it a lot. And we're just going to start wrapping our business card with a very neutral tightness, like not too tight, not too loose, just kind of neutral. And I'm just going to wrap it and I'm going to wrap it 100 times. And I want to keep the length pretty consistent, so that's why I'm just going back and forth. So I'm just going to keep going until I get 100. So that was 100 wraps, and then I just cut the yarn and left a little bit of a tail here. Now we're going to take our hat and then just bring those loose ends of yarn that we left and bring it out through the top of this hole. Honestly, I should have left this long when I was when I first started, um, but I didn't, but it's okay. We're just gonna take this very long strand of yarn that we left, and we're going to use our yarn needle, and we're just gonna thread our yarn needle, and we're going to then take our wrapped yarn Take your yarn needle, put it behind all the way through. So bring that yarn all the way through. You can remove the yarn needle. And then that's when we're going to kind of just tie a loose knot here. Just kind of like as close as you can to that opening hole. And then just tie it a little bit tighter, tighter, tighter. And then that's when we're going to start to cut across here. So you want to make sure that this is pretty secure, as secure as it can be. And then now we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut along the bottom. So all I do is just insert my scissors kind of behind the business card and I just start to cut through all the layers of yarn and then as I'm doing that I'm kind of just making sure that this is not coming undone and tying it tighter if I can and then just return to cutting there's quite a few layers so it is a little bit challenging but um, just take it slowly you can remove your card now and then back here so you can remove your card now and then and then just continue to tighten this so as you can see it's starting to look like a pom-pom we're definitely gonna have to clean it up but um, yeah just make sure that it's a very tight knot then we're going to take that first strand of yarn that we had from the very beginning and we're just going to tie a knot here. Just make it a double knot, a triple knot probably, just to make sure that it's really secure. What I like to do, I like to take this long strand of yarn and bring it through the front. You, so you see how the pom-pom is towards the back? I like to bring it through the front a couple of stitches here. And it kind of brings the pom-pom more towards the front. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to take that same yarn that I've been tying knots with and I'm going to tie another knot so
And to finish it off, I just like to pull the yarn through the inside and just kind of weave it into a few of these stitches here. Just like that. And then just tie like a triple knot. So that's one. That's two. And then we're going to do three. And then that's when you can just cut this yarn. So to clean up our pom-pom, we're just going to need a piece of cardboard. I'm going to use this tape because it's like the perfect width. Um, so something around like three and a half inches across. So that could be also a cup. This cup is roughly the same amount. Um, but I'm just going to use this piece of tape. And I'm going to draw a circle, trace around the bottom of the tape. And then I'm just going to cut this out. So this is roughly the size that I want to make this pom-pom. So I'm just going to use this as like a template. So when I put it up to my pom-pom and like push it down to make it flat, I'm going to cut off whatever's excess. So for example, right around here, I'm just going to start cutting. Especially down here, here's where you kind of get a lot of these little stragglers. Make sure that you don't cut your hat though. And then just do different areas of it. Just like that. See all that? So I'm going to start cutting all that. Kind of like a bowl haircut, like you just follow the circle. So once you've made your pom-pom and attached it using the loose tails that we left, should look like this after we clean it up and everything. Now we're going to move on to these smaller pom-poms. So as you can see, this pom-pom is much smaller than the big pom-pom on the top. And really the only difference is that we're going to use a different width. So instead of using something that is two inches wide, we're going to use something that's one inch wide. Um, so you could just cut like a business card in half, or you could just cut something that's an inch by about three and a half inches. It could be longer if, if you like. Um, and then also the other big difference is that instead of wrapping it 100 times, we're going to wrap it 50 times. So really it's the same exact process. Just make sure that Instead of two inches, you're using one inch, and instead of wrapping it a hundred times for the big pom-pom, we're going to only wrap it 50 times.
So this time what we're going to use as a template has to be around two to two and a half inches. So I'm going to use the bottom of this cup and I'm just going to trace around it. And then just cut it out again. And now your beanie is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments like your feedback. Did you think it was easy? Did you think it was difficult? Uh, was, is there something that you would change about it or did you guys like it? Let me know. I do take that into consideration when I make new videos. And also if you guys are interested in the written pattern for this hat, I left a link in the description where you can buy it on my website. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I recently made these super warm fingerless gloves. They would make a beautiful matching set with the hat. So you can find that on my channel. And as always, I have a quote of the week for you guys. Unexpected kindness is the most powerful, least costly, and most underrated agent of human change. So I chose this quote because I'm... Hola! Oh my gosh, you guys, my neighbor's so cute. Okay, this is actually part of why I chose the quote. Let me go. Thank you.